Hey, Collective Hey, happy Sunday, guys. Happy Sunday. Uh, shout out to the entire YouTube fam. I love y'all. Shout out to everyone that has liked, comment, subscribe. Thank you guys for the super thanks. Um, shout out to everyone that booked the personal reading um, during the 50% off special. The rates are back to normal rates, okay, on the website. So let's go ahead and jump in. I got a dope message for somebody, okay? I think this message is for a divine feminine energy. This is going to be a love reading that we channel. But before we get into the reading, guys, I'm going to tell y'all about a prophetic vision that I had, okay? For somebody, you playing games. <laughs> you playing games with your person, okay? So let me share this uh, vision that I had. So in the dream, there was a professional athlete. I actually know this person in real life, okay? It was a professional athlete in my dream. And I was going to this game. The game was at this big arena, right? It was at a big arena or a big stadium, it was just lots of people. It was lots of seats, okay? And I remember I kept trying to figure out, like, where I'm going to sit. I kept sitting at different places. I would sit somewhere, and then I would get back up. And then I would go find somewhere else to sit. I would sit down there for a brief moment, and then I would get back up, and I would go find somewhere else to sit. And, um, I remember seeing, uh, the guy. Okay. So for somebody, you, your divine counterpart is a professional athlete. They're a, a entertainer. They might be somebody in the public eye. Okay. But the Holy Spirit also told me that the reason this person, this person was used in this vision was because this is the energy that your person carried. This is somebody that is very humble, somebody with a meek spirit, okay? Somebody that is uh, genuine, someone that has a pure heart, okay? This is the reason that, again, this uh, masculine energy was used, okay? So, Eventually, I ran into this person and uh, they they told me, you know, let's sit here. You know, why don't you sit with me? Let's sit here. And I sat down and then I got back up. I was like, nah, I want to sit somewhere else. And it's like he was tired of my shit. So when I stood up to go sit somewhere else, he jumped up right behind me and was like, I need to be the one to sit your ass down. You know what I'm saying? And so we went and sat somewhere else, me and him. We went and sat somewhere else. But as soon as me and him sat down, I jumped right back up and I went and sat somewhere else. So after I went and sat somewhere else, I jumped back up and I went and found another seat. Eventually, when I jumped back up, I went and sat right back next to him. And then when the game was over, pay attention, when the game was over, me and him got up and left together. For somebody, something is a game. You playing a game, okay? Something is a game to you. Or even if, if this is not you, maybe you feel like your person playing games with you. But in, in this vision, I was the one playing the games because he sat and he waited patiently until I returned, okay? So we're going to go ahead and tap into this energy collective. Oh, yeah, look at this. The ace split right here, the two of cups and the seven of wands. Somebody want to fight for you. What did he say in the vision? I need to be the one to sit your ass down. And then it was also like for somebody you might you might be trying to reach some level of perfection because I would never forget um which is crazy so before I went and sat next to him at the end right before I went and sat down I was trying to polish my nails and polish my feet 
So I had finished polishing my nails, but I still had my toes to polish, right? But when I made it to sit back next to him, I had the polish still in my hands. I was going to finish polishing my feet, but where we were sitting, my feet was covered. Nobody even seen my feet. So that means something. Again, for somebody, it's like either you're trying to reach a level of perfection or you you want something to be perfect or you're not going to be all the way ready when this thing happens. Thank you, Holy Spirit. You're not going to be all the way ready, collective, when, when it happens. When you come together with this person or when you link up, when you run into this person, when you meet this person, they might pop up on you, okay? You're not going to be all the way ready. But what you feel like need what but what you feel like you need to do they mind not even gonna be on that give me some love messages holy spirit for the collective the seven of pentacles is here this is the energy of contemplation like uh You know, waiting on, waiting on, uh, you, you waiting to reap your harvest or you've sown for somebody, so, you've sown some type of seeds, okay? And you're going to bear the fruit of your labor. You're going to get back what you put in. I'm seeing the two of swords here, something that you don't see. So I feel like you put in some type of time, energy, or effort with somebody, Okay. And you're going to reap the rewards from that. This, look at this. Also, it's giving me the energy of somebody trying to figure out what to do with you. Eight of Wands is here. Somebody coming towards you. But again, it's like somebody trying to figure out what to do with you. Like you might be a handful. <laughs> you might be a bit much collective. This person, for some of y'all, this person is also younger than you, okay? This person is also younger than you. Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. You might also be dealing with somebody with money. Look at this, right? What did I say? For somebody, your person is a professional athlete or they're a professional entertainer. They do some in the public eye. For some of y'all, your person is well off, but you're not even, you not you you don't care about the money. See, look, they got all this money in front of them right there, but still can't do nothing with you. But somebody is determined. I'm telling you in the vision how he sit, how he jumped up right behind me and he said, I need to be the one to sit your ass down. Like, I'm tired of your shit. You know what I'm saying? Like, he, he, he wasn't even playing, okay? King of Wands can't make it up. This is definitely, he gave that King of Wands energy. <laughs> he gave that King of Wands energy. And I'm seeing the Knights of Cups at the bottom. I'm hearing that Guidance by Chris Brown. Chris Brown, what do he say in guidance? For somebody, you need to go listen to that song. Something about tired of playing games. He'll F around and give you his last name, okay? somebody For somebody, this person making some type of plans with this three of wands here. 
somebody a fire sign or they they just in this uh fire energy okay I feel like this person gonna wait on you though, collective. Again, if you, you might be dating around, you might have other options, okay? For somebody, I feel like, um, oh, the Knight of Cups came right back out. What did I say? They gonna wait on you, collective. You, you gonna receive some type of love offer from this person with this Knight of Cups here in the chariot. They coming. Somebody coming for you, collective. The Knight of Cups in love readings, this is usually like a declaration of love. Somebody want to, you know, let you know how they feel. They, it's, it's something that they want to confess, okay? Give me some more messages, Holy Spirit. And y'all know it's Sunday, your girl cooking. So I, this, I, I'm not even going to uh, be able to make this reading too long because I got to go check on my pots, baby. Give me some more love messages, Holy Spirit, for the collective. Look, the four of cups, the moon, and the ten of cups. For somebody you unsure, this is why you playing games. You might not even know you playing games, but you playing games, collective. Look, five of cups, you playing, you unsure playing, but you got somebody in their feelings, okay? This person might be feeling sad or in regret about something, maybe uh, taking too long, okay? But the Four of Cups is here. This is the energy of, uh, of being unsure. For somebody, again, you, you unsure. Have, have your person not spoke up, okay? So this person feel like you playing games because uh you they have not given you clarity. You don't see this offer coming. Look how he coming through the window. She facing the other way, not even paying attention. For somebody, you got an offer coming you that, that you don't even see coming. And look at the Knight of Cups. He's coming with the cup here. Give me one more card for the collective. Give me one more card, Holy Spirit, for the collective. Yeah, the sun card is here. You finna get some clarity. You're gonna get some clarity. Ooh, the tower with the queen of pentacles here. Somebody ready to start a family. The queen of pentacles usually... She's somebody who getting ready to start a family, to be a mom, um, you know, the domestic type thing, okay? What is this Seven of Pentacles for the collective? What is the seven of pentacles? The judgment. What did I say? They trying to figure out what to do with you. Somebody got some up their sleeve. They don't figure some shit out. Well, yeah, start with the empress. For some of y'all, something is getting ready to happen for you with this judgment. Somebody is coming to resurrect something. And what did I say? Oh, yeah, the Ace of Pentacles. What did I say? Even at this at the arena when I ran into uh, this gentleman, right? I wasn't planning on sitting with him, but he invited me to, to take a seat with him, right? And I still, again, I didn't know where I want to sit at. But what did I say at the end? I sat with him, and when the game was over, we left together.
So he invited me to sit with him. For somebody, you're going to receive some type of invite. The chariot is here. I keep seeing this chariot. The Ace of Pentacles. Wow. Oh, with the Six of Wands. For somebody, yeah. Uh, somebody want to show you off with this Six of Wands. Or somebody, again, the Knight of Cups could be a proposal. Uh, there might be a proposal, you know, in the public eye where, you know, everybody see this go down, Okay. Now, that may not resonate with everybody, but for somebody, uh, something is going to happen or you're going to get an invite to go somewhere in the public with this person. I feel like uh, th this with this Ace of Pentacles, this is going to be like the beginning stages, okay? The beginning stages or the be um, a beginning phase, okay? of a very significant relationship in your life. I feel like you're dealing with a divine counterpart. This this uh, Ace of Pentacles, um, for some of y'all, you might also like move in with this person. Y'all may buy a home together. Um, something of that nature, but there is, is, is some type of new beginning, some type of fresh start. What did I say? Somebody want to resurrect something. Somebody want to start over. But this time, collective, they not coming to play. What did I say? Uh, he said, I need to be the one to sit your ass down. And that means, like, you know what that means, okay? <laughs> you know what that means. That's how somebody feel. Like, they need to be the one to, I feel like, put a ring on your finger, collective, to sit you down. What is this Knight of Cups? The High Priestess. Something is a secret. The Knight of Pentacles. For somebody, you're going to get, oh, the Knight with the Ten of Cups. You have a solid ass offer coming, but something is a secret. Somebody keeping a secret from you. But this is like a good secret I'm picking up. What is this Four of Cups? Wow, the Sun card. You finna get some clarity. What did I say? You unsure with this Four of Cups. But you finna get the clarity. The Devil card is here. Somebody on your heels heavy. Somebody on your heels heavy. The Devil card also represents what? A, a connection in the physical realm. Child, you might be, this is also like a sign somebody is a little obsessed with you. Somebody might be a little toxic, baby, okay? But again, this is a sign of a manifestation in the physical realm, okay? Children could also be significant. Somebody might want children as well. The sun card is here twice. These are like, uh, one, not one of the only cards in the deck with children, but one of two, I think one of or one of three what is this sign card the nine of swords with the page of pentacles you definitely finna hear from this person somebody feel like you left them out in the cold collective and that's exactly the energy of this person in the vision when we when I sat next to him and then I got up and went to sit somewhere else, that's that's the that was the uh, energy that came over him. That's how his face kind of looked like he was kind of disappointed, feeling you know what I'm saying. Like I just left him hanging. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get um some of these and then we're gonna close out this reading because I think I'm already over. I need to go check on my food, y'all. Sunglasses. We saw the devil card. This person watched you. Old school. Yeah, I feel like with this old school, again, this is the energy of like, I feel like your person, love is here. 
what did I say? Uh, the Holy Spirit shed light on why this particular individual was being used in this vision. And that's how God worked. Sometimes you will see people that you know, that's because that is the energy that your person will have. Or that is the energy around whoever. You know what I'm saying? You just have to discern, okay? For somebody, you dealing with somebody with old school values. It's given traditional. You dealing with somebody that's traditional. Look, girl with the snake. <laughs> Charmed or used, uh, enable and boundaries. Okay, somebody feel like you a little slick collective. I'm telling you, camera is here. This person thinks about you a lot. Yep, death card, change, transformation. Okay, and here is camera again. Somebody watch you. Some this person watches you heavy uh heavily collective. Soulmates is here. And then look what's at the bottom. Pictures. Looking at pictures, missing you, nostalgia, making new memories. You finna get clarity. Somebody I feel like for somebody, this why you playing games. You don't even know you playing games. You just doing you because I feel like somebody have not given you that clarity with the sun card here twice. You you about to get it though. Oh, it split right here. This wanted to come out. Love call, expressing love, messages of love, thinking of you, um, informing you. Somebody want to talk. Whoa, and then cough and fell back, okay? We seeing uh, ascending here. New beginnings, death card and coffin. Reborn and transition. Again, that's the energy of like something being resurrected, okay? Uh, I just looked down, it was 2233. So for somebody, a connection is about to come back to life, baby. Somebody I feel like is going to fight for you, okay? Somebody feel like you're playing games with them, though, Divine Feminine, okay? Even though I feel like they have not manned up, you know, and just told you what it is, um, you know, some some people will feel like you already know when you don't know, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, but again, collective. Somebody feel like you're playing games, but you're about to get some type of clarity uh, from this person, I definitely see some form of communication coming, okay? But again, Divine Feminine, somebody feel like they finna be the one to sit your ass down. They finna put a stop to all, all your shenanigans, honey, okay? So hit that thumbs up, subscribe if you have not subscribed. Thank you guys for watching.